what you've got to do is show what outcomes you're wanting to achieve. And, and one of the things that I think for us that is so vital that Emmanuel has mentioned is the whole transformation process. What we've discovered in our journey towards transformation and how that works is that the orality methodology is the shortest distance to the heart and transformation. And what we've done is moved away from that and moved into a cognitive frame rather than transformative frame. And that if we would understand, and this is where that's kind of led us in our journey, as we looked at the Emmanuel and Stephen and some of the other our African brothers, how were they trained and equipped and how were they brought up to be who they were, their sabot. So what does that mean and how did they get there? So we're saying we can pull the other direction that oral methodologies that they grew up in, bring them into the theological institution and impact not only their theology, so to speak, and not only their methodology of, of now presenting, but we can impact their heart by methods they're already familiar with. The challenge for us is to, on the one hand, stay true to the academic side of, of uh, accreditation and at the same time stay true to our journey to transformation. And so it's a fine line that we're trying to walk, but I think that a house can look one way, but what's in the house is quite different. And then most of the accrediting groups that we've been working with, they're more concerned with the look of the house than what's in it. And we're more concerned with what's in it than the look of the house. We work with primary, well, all of our students, our learners, are adult uh, pastors and ministers. These are not people we're training for the ministry. They're people already in the ministry. So what we want to do, and I think it's critical for us, is to release them to be who God has created them to be as far as oral learners and say, you know what, you don't have to do the three-point sermon. You don't have to do it like what you've learned from the West. And as we do that, then it's not us at this stage telling them and equipping them and, and explaining to them how it works, but we're releasing them to discover what God wants them to discover and how it's going to work. You know, we're not going to figure that out. We're, we're too, too early in the process. But we as a theological institution want to endorse that approach which says, you know what, your African roots have great vitality when it comes to theology, and what we want to do is inform that and not control.